Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a quick review to show off uh, Google's latest addition to their suite of services, namely audiobooks and Google Play Books. So the benefit here of using Google Play services or Google Play Books for your audiobooks is that you do not need a monthly or annual subscription to get these audiobooks. So what you're going to do is uh, first go to Google Play or go to the Google Play Store, whether it's on your Android device or you're or on a website you're going to browse on over to books and you'll now see a section for audiobooks um you can click on the learn more if you want to learn a little bit more about what they offer you can get them uh, whenever you want download them for offline listening um and go from there so you can see that there's a few that they recommend already um they have thousands of audiobooks um you can uh, browse around, see what you like. They're doing a, 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 sh a special promotion to kick off the service. For, I think it was something like fifty percent off your off of one book. So I bought myself a Ready Player One just to listen to that. I've heard a lot of good things about that. So once you do that, once you find one that you like, so if you wanted to listen to it or learn a little bit about Norse mythology, um, if you wanted to uh, think like a freak. Um, then you can get any one of those. You'll see the um, audiobook price. You'll see who the author was or how, who the author is. In some cases, they or in, actually they should have in um, most cases who the book is narrated by as well. So in this case, you'll see that the authors of Think Like a Freak are Stephen Levitt, Stephen Levitt and Stephen uh, Dubner. Um, and it's that narrated by Mr. Dubner as well. So... Um, things like that and then you also will see the runtime and the release date of the audiobook so you get all of that relevant information as well. So once you've made your purchase that you can now go on over to Google Play Books and the audiobook that you buy will now show up in your library. So I've downloaded Ready Player One um, so you can so you can open it up, you get a nice little player, much like you see with um, Google Play Music or any uh, layout that follows this outline. Um, you do get the uh, rewind or fast forward by 30 seconds. You can control your playback speed. You can control your snooze timer. So if you're just listening to something and you're expecting to fall asleep in the next 30 minutes or want to stop at the end of the chapter, then you can set that. Um, you also get the table of contents. So you can see the uh, cover. You can uh, browse around. I shouldn't. I actually should not have done that. Um, I don't remember where I was at, but um, um, you can browse around. You can automatically skip to various points in the book, um, and you can see, for example, Ready Player One has, I guess three overarching sections and then multiple chapters they give you how much time each section is for or covers um f and then um you can also get a little bit more information about track numbers and things like that so you can find your place um you can also get more information about the book um uh, all the audiobook from here as well so you can see that ready player one is authored by ernest klein and is narrated by will wheaton um, and it's about 15 hours and 30 or 15 hours and 30 minutes long. So you know how long it will take to listen to that audio book. Uh, the benefit here is that you don't have to actually pay for the, a service month to month and get a certain number. You can buy them whenever you want. Listen at your own pace and um, go from there. So what I'll actually do from here is I'm going to um, check out Audible's uh, website, see what their price is. I actually didn't get a chance to look at that um before I started recording, but um, Audible is probably the bigger one of the um, audiobook services. So it's fourteen ninety five a month um, after your free thirty day trial. You get one free audiobook when you start. Um, so I guess, for example, let's take a browse, see if we can get the price of Ready uh, Player One, and. Um, so when we open it up, we'll see Ernest Klein, the Nary Bay will be in 14 hours, 15 hours, 46 minutes. Um, same book, uh, regular price, thirty one fifty. dollars So uh, quite a bit more expensive, I guess, than the, or I guess that's for just for one book if you want to buy that. Um, if we go around, let's say we want to look at um, Dan Brown's origin, see how much that costs, then we'll, we can scroll down, we see that it is $35, so 
Um, it all depends on how you want to look at it, whether you pay fourteen ninety five a month per book and get that one pretty free book a month or um, buy it without the service. But in either case, the book, I, from my understanding, becomes yours. So um, we'll go back here and we will audiobooks, audiobooks. And when we look up Ready Player One, we can take a look at that price in Google Play Books. Um, and I guess since I already bought it, I can't look at the price, but we can look at Dan Brown's Origins and we see that it is twenty five ninety five there. So a comparable price, it is kind of expensive, but a similar price as Audible, so not anything better or worse. So um, if you're doing the book by book um, basis, then it is um, considerably more than the month to month subscription. So... Um, there is that to consider, but so far it is pretty nifty. It's actually super easy to use. Once you make the purchase, you'll get the notification in Google Play Books that the book is available. So um, once you can do that, you can stream it right away. Or if you want to wait to download it on Wi-Fi, you can do that and listen all offline. So if you're on a plane or driving in your car and you want to listen there, then um, that is also an option. And then you get, and most books, not all books are going to be in that $25 price range. You can see, for example, Dennis Markle's Click Here to Start a Novel is $14.95. Um, Changing the Game by J.C. Burton is $14.95. So there, there are a few different prices, and then you can get titles under $10 as well. So if you want to listen to um, Agatha Christie's Murder on the or Orient Express, it, it's uh, currently $4.99. So, um, there is um there are different prices so they're not necessarily all um uh different prices so there is that for a comparison and if you want if you're always curious to see if you're uh getting a good deal you can always just take a look at um audible much like I'm doing here then you can see if um what the price is there see if it's better or worse or worth the price so as you can see at the moment on um audible murder on the orient express is 24 dollars and eight cents so there is that to consider um but that's really all there is for that so um if you like it don't like it you can always uh you can give me some feedback at patel n01 on twitter and um, if you want to check out this review or more reviews, you can visit the YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash PatelN01. And of course, subscribe to get the um, updates on the latest content there. And of course, you want if you want to get links, subscription links, social media links, and all that good stuff, past episodes of the podcast, it's all on the website at PatelN01.com. And of course, if you want to help support the show and get additional content and things like that, visit the Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that is all for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.